Hey, hey, welcome in everyone to the 48 Blitz preview show. I'm your host, Camder. Guys, we're coming up on week eight of the high school football season. Just three weeks left before playoffs begin, and we've seen some pretty great football come from our area teams, but something tells me that the best is yet to come. I don't know, call it a hunch. However, you know as well as I do that pretty much anything can happen in the next few weeks, and that's one of the things that I do love about sports. We can make predictions all day long, but there are so many things that can change in this game in just a split second. And that's just one of the things that we're going to talk about here today. We'll take a look at the standings up to this point in region play as many teams are in the race for that top spot. Of course, two of those teams being featured as our 48 Blitz game of the week. You already know we love a good tale of the undefeated here. We'll hear from those coaches. We'll meet our week 7 48 Blitz player of the week and more. Strap in as I prepare you for week 8 of the football season. Let's get into it. Just as a refresher, the top four teams from each region will make the postseason and the top two will host on home turf. We begin in Class 1A Region 7. Decatur Heritage leads the region with a 5-0 record. The Eagles are 7-1 on the season. This week, Decatur Heritage is set to face the 1-3 Trojans from Galesville. A win this week will give the Eagles sole possession of the top seed. And with only a bye week and a non-region game left in the season, the Eagles are on track to host a playoff game. We'll slot it as the second seed Valleyhead with a 3-1 region record. That only loss coming to Decatur Heritage back in week two. The Tigers with a big game coming up this week as they would clash with Woodville on the road. And those Panthers are right on the heels of the Tigers with a 2-2 two two record. Currently sit third in the region with just two more region games to play for both these squads. A big game this week with a chance to host a playoff on the line. Appalachian sits at the four seed at this point in the season also with an even 2-2 two two record. They're set to face off with Kusa Christian this week. And in Class 2A Region 7, the Pisgah Eagles off to their best start in 20 years with a perfect 7-0 record and 5-0 in the region. But they're not the only team with a clean region record, and it just so happens to be the Eagles' Week 8 opponent, that being Fife. The reigning state champions are tied with Pisgah with a perfect region record. The Red Devils and Eagles set to face off this week with a battle for the top spot in the region. Pisgah still with section to face off with in week nine. Fife will clash with Eider next week. But one thing is certain, one of these teams is going to come away with an unblemished record in the region tomorrow night. In the third spot, Collinsville, three and two in the region, still with Whitesburg Christian and North Sand Mountain left on their schedule. The Panthers tied with the Bison in region standings at this point. Well, the Bison will meet with section for week eight, and the Lions might just have something to say about that. They currently sit fifth in the region with a two and three record, but a win for the Lions could put them in the playoff race, an important matchup for both of these teams this week, as one thing is certain, one team will knock the other out of a playoff berth. Moving into one of our most stacked classes, 3A, starting in Region 6, Sylvania 5-0 leads the region. Coach Van looking to get his Rams their first region championship since he started as head coach. They've been close the past three seasons, finishing at second. Well, this week they'll have to take on the 4-1 hoax bluff. The Eagles tied with Geraldine for the second seed, though Geraldine earned the Week 2 victory. A critical final two weeks of region play for these two teams to determine who will host a playoff. The Bulldogs with the four seed Piedmont this week. And in Region 7, a tie for first between Madison Academy and Susan Moore, both with a 4-0 region record. The Mustangs in search of their fourth straight region championship will have to get past Brindley Mountain this week, followed by a region finale with the Bulldogs in Week 9. Those Bulldogs set to face off with the third seed in the region, J.B. Pennington, this week, who is right on the heels of Susan Moore. Just one loss on the season, that being a close one with Madison Academy back in Week 2. A pair of big time games for the Bulldogs in the next two weeks. They'll need just one to secure home field advantage, two to earn the top spot. Danville and Vinemont in the race for the final spot there in the playoffs. Now we move to Region 8. Mars Hill Bible and Lauderdale County are the only teams that remain undefeated in the region. And they just so happen to be squaring off this week for a chance to claim the top seed. However, at this point, both teams will host the first round of region playoffs, but who doesn't want to be first, right? Clements and Colbert County tied for third. That spot will be determined after tomorrow night. 
But Elkmont with a chance to find their way back into the playoffs with a week nine clash with Colbert County. A whole lot of action happening in class 3A region eight. Onto 4A Region 7, the state leader in scoring, Wes Morgan. No surprise, leads the region with a spotless 5-0 record. The Rebels have already moved past the bulk of their region schedule with wins against those top four in the standings. But looking to spoil that will be East Lawrence and Wilson in these final two weeks of region play. However, the Rebels earn a pair of wins in those games. They own the one seed. Well, tied for two, Brooks and Deschler each with just one loss. They'll go head to head in a region finale in week nine, but looking to get back into the conversation. How about a three way tie for the fourth and final spot? West Limestone, Central, and Rogers each with a two and three record. A pair of Wildcats meet on the gridiron tomorrow night with a chance to move into that final spot this week. In Region 8, Westminster Christian leads the way with a 5-0 region record. They will clash with Priceville this week, who sits tied for second with Randolph. It'll be a tough final two weeks for the Bulldogs, who are set to square off with the Wildcats and the Raiders to determine if they will host a playoff. But it won't be easy for the Raiders this week either. They'll take on the four-seeded New Hope, who currently sits in a three-way tie for the final spot with North Jackson and St. John Paul. Now to 5A, Region 7, where it's really interesting, so try to stay with me. Gunnersville all on their own at the top with a 3-0 region record, but after this week could be in a three-way tie for first place as they will take on Arab, who's 3-1 in the region. They're tied for second with Scottsboro. A win for both the Knights and the Wildcats this week would create that three-way tie. However, if the Wildcats from Gunnersville want to remain the region leaders, they'd have to win out the rest of the way. No matter what, these three teams will make the playoffs. The four seed as of right now belongs to Sardis. Class 6A Region 7, the Trojans from Muscle Shoals looking to continue an undefeated campaign this week as they finish up region play against Coleman. A win will secure the top seed for Coach Bazin and his Trojans. The second spot belongs to Hartzell, whose only loss came two weeks back in a double overtime thriller with Muscle Shoals. The Tigers sitting with a nice chance to host a playoff of their own as they head into Decatur this week. A win will secure home field advantage. Meanwhile, Athens and Coleman tied for third place. If the Golden Eagles were to win over Columbia this week, they'd be the third seed. The fourth seed would be determined after this week. And finally, Class 7A Region 4, a tie for first between James Clemens and Bob Jones. The Jets getting their first region loss last week with a loss to Austin, while Bob Jones earned a big win over Sparkman to secure that two spot in the region. Well, for the second straight week, the Patriots will look to defend their chance to host as they head to Black Bear Country to take on Austin, who sits in a tie for third with Sparkman and Florence. The Senators and the Falcons will go head to head this week in hopes of remaining in the playoff conversation. Of course, anything can happen in these final two weeks of region play, and I can guarantee that every team is going to bring their A game. And one will have to do it this week as a top spot in the region is on the line as well as a perfect overall season record. All the makings for 60 minutes of hard fought football in only the second all time matchup. Lauderdale County and Mars Hill Bible are 48 Blitz game of the week. Tigers from Lauderdale County come in 7-0 on the season. They're reaching nearly 44 points per contest, but it's the Tigers' defense that's rock solid. They're coming off a 46-0 shutout win over Phil Campbell two weeks back, the second of the season for the Tigers. Teams are averaging less than two touchdowns per game. They'll have to stop a hardy scoring offense on the opposite side. Those Panthers are second in the state in scoring with an average of almost 54 points per game. Also a solid defensive effort allowing about 11 points per contest. It'll be an interesting matchup to see which offense will be able to crack through a pair of airtight defenses. However, with two very talented playmakers on both sidelines, expect this one to come down to a shootout. Well, if you're a competitor, you like to play in these kind of games. You want to play people like Lauderdale County that's undefeated, that's been blowing everybody out, that comes in here with a great team. And, and if you're a competitor, that's what you want to play in. Our, our guys are excited. I mean, it, it really is. This is what you put in all this work for and what you do all this for is to get the opportunity to play in a game like this. And, you know, it, 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 it's exciting. I don't care how old you are, how many times you've, you've had a the opportunity to do it, but you, this, this, you will embrace it. Look forward to it. Now we'd like to recognize one player who made an impact on the field for his team last week, helping lead his team to a very close victory. 
Shamarian Landry from Buckhorn High School is this week's 48 Blitz Player of the Week. Thank you. Landrum led the Bucks to a 34-24 win in a region matchup last week. He rushed for 158 yards on 29 carries, finding the end zone on three occasions. Congrats to Shamarion Landrum and the Buckhorn Bucks. Well, that's all the time that we have this week. Just a few weeks left before we reach the playoffs. Best of luck to our area teams the rest of the way. Catch all the highlights and more tomorrow night on 48 Blitz and Blitz OT. Be sure to join me right back here next week for our week nine edition of 48 Blitz preview show. Have a great night.